What I'm going to show you in this video is how to work Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, and specifically how to do it for knit to purl to rib, but you can use these techniques for binding off in any pattern. Now this bind off is used for all of the fingers. I've already actually knit all the fingers. I'm going to show you how to bind off on the thumb, but this is the very same technique that you would use for any of the bind offs in this pattern. One of the, a couple of really nice things about this bind off are that, as the name suggests, it's very stretchy, which if you think about the tops of these fingers, you really want them to be able to stretch out so that you can fit your fingers into them without them cutting off your circulation. And this bind off is also great for things like uh, toe up socks where the cuffs would need to be bound off really loosely. The other nice thing about this bind off is that it's really simple to do. It's not much different from a regular bind off, but it just has one additional step in it that makes the bind off particularly stretchy. And it involves adding yarn overs in the middle of binding off the stitches. So the only thing you have to keep track of is you, you yarn over in one direction when you're binding off a knit stitch and you yarn over in the other direction when you're binding off a purl stitch. So I'll show you how to do it. I always just work the first stitch like normal, so let me get the yarn in the right, the right place. We'll just knit the first stitch like normal. Now I'm going to do a yarn over before I work the next stitch. So in the case of a knit stitch, you want to work a reverse yarn over. So I'll do it like that. The main way to tell if you're wrapping the yarn over in the right direction is if you look at it and it's leaning to the right, your yarn over, that's the kind of yarn over you want to do for it right before you do a knit stitch. So I'll knit the next stitch. And now I'm actually going to lift both the yarn over and that first stitch that I knit over this second stitch. So I'll grab both of these and pull them over the second stitch and off the needle. So now I've bound off a stitch. Now my next stitch is a purl stitch. So this time I'm going to yarn over in the other direction. And this time you want, when you're, whenever you're about to work a purl stitch, you want your yarn over to lean to the left. That's how you know you've done it the right way. So I need my yarn in front. Your yarn over needs to be leaning to the left and your yarn needs to be in front. I'll purl and again I just lift the yarn over and that first stitch up and over the second stitch and off the needle. My next stitch is a purl so again I wrap the yarn around the needle so that the yarn is leaning to the left and the yarns in the front so I can purl. Lift the yarn over and the first stitch over the second stitch and off the needle. I need to wrap the yarn around the needle again for a yarn over. The next stitch is a knit so I need that yarn over to be leaning to the right. I knit and pull the yarn over in the first stitch over. So you just keep going in this in this way until you have gotten to the end and then you just pull your end through like you normally would with a bind off. One thing I will say about this bind off is that if you are accustomed to being told to bind off loosely um, then you are you know typically don't yank too much on the stitches, you try to keep your stitches really loose, don't do that with this bind off. Um, with this bind off, go ahead and pull your stitches nice and tight because the bind off will make itself plenty stretchy. And if you leave your stitches loose, you'll actually end up with kind of a ruffly bind off. So you'll notice I was actually pulling my stitches fairly tight to make an even bind off so that the edges doesn't, don't ruffle out too much. So that's Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off in knit to pearl to rib.